Shabbat Shalom, daughters of Zion. Welcome to the Virtuous Woman channel. I am Sister Rita Esther, and our topic for today in this Bible exposition is the iron did swim. The iron did swim. Hallelujah. A higher is God of possibilities. In his divine dictionary, there is no impossibilities. None whatsoever. One thing that could slow down or delay his possibilities is our is our lives. In our lives is faith. Our faith agrees with our highest possibilities. Our faith knows that at the appointed time, as the Most High works with time, He will surely definitely do all He has promised. Our faith in working with Him brings the impossibilities in our lives to possibilities. Hallelujah. In 2 Kings chapter 7, 2 Kings chapter 7, from verse 2 Kings chapter 7, Second Kings chapter 7, it says in um, verse 1, it says, Then Elisha said, Hear ye the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, to, Tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel in the gates. Of Samaria. Then the Lord, whose hand the king lent, answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, might this thing be that disbelieve? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see with thy eyes, but thou but shalt not eat thereof. Um, prophet Elisha told the Lord leans on the king that way, the king's worker. And when we go to verse 16. And the people went out and spoiled the tent of the... That's after the leopards has found the tent of Assyrians. They fled, God gave them a terrifying noise, and they fled, and they left all their gold, the food, everything, and those leprosy found it. The, the leprosy people found it, and when they found it, they came back to the city, and they told people that went to tell the king, and they went to verify it. And the person that was disbelieved, um, verse 16 says, And the people went out and spoiled the tent, of the Syrians. So a measure of fine flour was sold for a shekel, and two measures of barley for a shekel, according to the word of the Lord. The, and the king appointed the Lord on whose hand he learned to have to have the charge of the gate. The very person, king's um, servant or right hand man, is the one that is in charge. <laughs> To have the gate, and he did died. To have the gate, and the people trod upon him in the gate, and he did, and he died, as the man of God said, and the man of God has said, who spake when the king came down to him. Is did this believe that made the man died? He did not believe. He doesn't have faith that the, we have. We serve God of possibilities. Hallelujah, there is nothing impossible for him, especially when he has ordained it to be, when he has pronounced it into our lives. Hallelujah, especially. So the man was disbelieved 
And what, what was his end? Exactly what the man of God prophesying to his life was what came to pass. Iron did swim. We, we have different types of iron mentioned in the scriptures. We have an um, horn of iron in 1 Kings 22, 11. We have rod of iron in Psalms 2, verse 9. We have yokes of iron in Jeremiah 28, 13. We have pen of iron in Jeremiah 17, verse 1. We have legs of iron in Daniel 2, 33. Iron is taken out of the earth. Um, as it told us in Job 28, verse 2. This very iron that did swim in the, is the miracle of the Most High. That he did through the prophet Elisha. So in Second Kings, Second Kings chapter six, Second Kings chapter six, then I'll start on the reading from verse one. Second Kings chapter six, it says, "And the sons of the prophet said unto Elisha, Behold, now the place where we dwell with." Thee is too straight for us. Let us go, we pray thee, unto Jordan and take thence every man a being. And let us make us a place there where we may dwell. And he answered, Go ye. And one said, Be content, I pray thee, and go with thy servants. And he answered, I will go. So he went with them, and when they came to Jordan, they cut down wood, but as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into the water, and he cried and said, Alas, master, for it was borrowed. They did borrow the axe that fell. And the man of God said, Where? fell it he asked where fell it where is the source of your problem where fell it and he showed him the place show the most high where the shoe do pains in your life show him exactly where you want to be delivered where you want to be rescued hallelujah and he showed him the place. And he cut down a stick. Then God can apply his miraculous ways. It could be any ways as spirits want. Hallelujah. Then he cut down a stick. That's the opposite. Stick is the opposite of iron. To think about it, stick will be very light. It will float. On a river, hallelujah. But the iron will sink because it's heavy. Amen. It is quite the opposite. So, like it's like a it's like a metaphor. It's like it's like power of God is speaking spiritually, miraculously to the iron that copy this stick and come forth from the water. He makes impossibilities possible. Hallelujah. Because he is God of possibilities. Amen. And cast it thither, and the iron did swim. The iron did swim. Therefore, he said, take it up today. And he put out his hand and took it. Amen. It is only... The power of the Most High, Ahaya, I am that I am, that can do that. It is only His power. Amen. I am did swim. There is nothing impossible for the Most High. He can make the mountains of pains. The mountains of troubles, the mountains of impossibilities, the mountains of sickness, the mountains of lack. 
You can't make the mountains of stagnancy, the mountains of failure to be flat and vanished before us. Hallelujah. You can, you can still the storms raging in our lives. Just as we see in Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8. Amen. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 23. He says, from verse 23. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, in so much that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And this and his disciples came unto and the disciple came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. And he said unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye little faith? O ye little faith. See, when there is no faith, we cannot walk with the Lord. Without faith, it is impossible. To serve God. To please God. Hallelujah. And he said, Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the sea. And there was a great calm. Hallelujah. He is the God of impossibilities. He make everything possible possible. Hallelujah. He is the God of possibilities. He deals with impossibilities. Hallelujah. He make the great tempest calm he made the great storm calm he was sleeping he was at the rest even in the midst of the storm because he knows that the power to calm the storm is in his hand the iron did swim amen he is not a man that he will lie or a son of man that he will repent he is faithful enough to fulfill his promises. He makes everything beautiful in his time. When he says he will do it, he will surely, definitely do it. Amen. He is, he is the unchangeable changer. He is the covenant keeper. Hallelujah. He is the miracle worker. He works his miracle in our lives. Day in, day out. Every second of the day. Every day of the week, every week of the month, hallelujah. He has done it before, he'll do it again. He his track record says it all. Amen. Impossibility gets possible. Impossibilities get possible when the presence of the most high rests on us. Impossibilities get possible when we are full of his power impossibilities gets possible when we walk with him in faith in faith christ jesus of nazareth could not do much in his hometown because of lack of faith they did not believe hmm. impossibilities get possible when we flee from every appearances of evil impossibilities get possible when we live an holy and righteous life impossibilities get possible when we live for the most high when we live for him walk with him be of him hallelujah impossibility gets possible and the iron of breakthrough we swim from the waters the iron of success we swim from under the waters, the iron of deliverance will swim up. From under the waters, the iron of purpose will swim up. From under the waters, all the waters of sorrow, waters of captivity, waters of shame and disgrace. The iron of great things, of deliverance, will swim up from the waters of backwardness. Hallelujah. And the great miracle will happen in our lives. Everything impossible will become possible because the iron did swim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we go to Joshua, 
Joshua chapter 10. Oh, we should go to Exodus first, please. Exodus, 20, Exodus 14. Exodus 14, I will read from 21. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the, and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night, and made the sea dry land, and the waters were divided. Hallelujah. He parted the sea with his great power. There's nothing possible for him. That is why the iron do swim. The iron did swim. Amen. And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground. And the waters were a wall unto them on the, on the right and, and on their left. And when we go to 27, verse 27 says, And Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to his strength. Hallelujah. The sea returned to his strength. When the, mo when the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled against it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. He sank Pharaoh and his, and his chariots in the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Iron did swim. There is nothing impossible for him. He can deliver us. He can do all what we want and much more beyond our imagination. He said, What the law, what he said, what the eyes have not seen, what the hear have not heard, God has planned for those who love him. Hallelujah. And when we go to Joshua, Joshua chapter 10, verse 12 says, Then spake Joshua to the Lord. In the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel, and he said in the sight of Israel, Son, stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Jerusalem. And verse 13 says, And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Joshua? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven and hasted not to go down about the whole day. Hallelujah. It is only the power of the monster that can do this. It is only through the one that loves him, the one that lives for him, the one that walks with him. There's nothing impossible with his power. There's nothing impossible with his presence. There's nothing impossible when we love him, when we live for him, when we fear him and live according to his commandments, according to his way. Hallelujah. The iron did swim. The, we can do it What? prophet Elisha has done. We can do it what Joshua has done. We can do it what God has done through Moses. If only we walk in his way. If only we love him the way he loves us. If only we obey his commandments. Hallelujah. If only we leave everything that is of the world and follow him daily and fear him and stay away from our fleshy ways. Stay away from our iniquity. Hallelujah. May the Lord help us. May he strengthen us. Amen. If you have listened to me up to this hour and you have not given your life to Christ, tomorrow might be too late. Give your life to Christ today and he will be your Lord. He will be your God. He will love you. He will strengthen you all his way. Say after me if you want to give your life to Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah. His name in, is, in Hebrew is Yashchaya. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yashchaya, take me as your personal, I take you as your, my personal Lord and Savior today. Give me a new heart, a new spirit. I believe in your death and resurrection for me. Cleanse me with your blood. Guide me all the way. Write my name in the book of life. Amen. I pray with you that God will give you a new heart, a new spirit. It will strengthen you, it will guide you. Power of the Most High will overshadow your spirit, soul, and body. And you shall end well. You shall finish strong. And we shall see someday in glory. If you have said that 
with me. Go to any Bible believing church near you. Get a Bible, study, read, pray. And blessed the Holy Spirit will take you from there. And the true man of God will baptize you. Get baptized and walk with the Lord. May God strengthen us in the name of His only begotten Son. Amen. Christ Jesus of Nazareth. We shall see in glory. Amen. Walk with the monster in truth, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart. Shalom.